What's up guys, it's me Bestly, and welcome back to our Minecraft world. Today we're in episode 3, and we're going to be making the best early game mob farm. Guys, this is an amazing mob farm I'm making in all of my survival worlds, and it's an easy way to get XP and mob drops. If you're early game and you want to find out how to get a good amount of XP, this is the video for you. And also, in the past week, I've been doing some work on skin decks. And I've made myself a brand new skin, guys. So in my last skin, it was good for short term. That was really just a skin to make sure I wasn't a Steve. But guys, look at us now. We look so much better now. It looks pretty awesome. Guys, let me know down in the comments below if you like this skin on the front. It's got like a pretzel. And I tried to copy like my yellow hoodie that I wear in the majority of my films. Then I've also got my blonde hair. And I've got my jeans that I wear a lot of the time. And also my Air Force Nikes that I usually wear. Also, this is a little bit of a sneak peek on what some pretzel army merch might look like if we get pretzel army merch later. If you guys want pretzel army merch in Minecraft, let me know. I can make a couple of jumpers, maybe a couple of t-shirts, maybe some pretzel army pants, maybe some pretzel army shoes. I don't know. I can make some. But guys, just let me know down in the comments below. But let's go. Let's get into today's video. So off camera, we have done quite a lot of stuff. So I've done a little bit of enchanting. We have a silk touch efficiency to an unbreaking two pickaxe. Even just before filming, I did some enchanting and we got two fortunes. But guys, the main reason I'm doing this is just so we can get some better enchantments. Come on, please, please don't mess this up. Let's go. Okay, but well, let's go. Let me show you some stuff I've been doing off camera. To start off with, Gary has sadly passed away. I went mining. I don't know how he got out of his enclosure because it's like completely sealed unless he like, I don't know, climbed up the wall and did some parkour to get like from that block up there and then squished out of that little zone. I don't even know how he could have done that. But he somehow wiggled out while I was mining and now he is gone. He's gone forever. So Gary, we might get a Gary 2.0 later on when we find our next Axolotl. But uh, yeah, that's Gary. Sad. It's really, really sad. Up here, I got a grindstone and this is all of our stuff in our chests. If you want to pause and take a look at it, it's nothing too fancy. Uh, we've got some more copper, I got some more copper, and also a ton of cobblestone, which we will be using today. Then we can head down here. I did put two water here, just so when we get our next oxalotl, if he does sneak out, he won't not have water. So if he sneaks out while we're mining, he can just come back into here and he won't die from not having water, which is good. And I did two blocks because I'm really not sure how axolotls work in this game yet, because it's, you know, it's a new update. But that's about it, apart from the fact that we have a brand new mine area. So where our nether portal is, it's now a nether portal and mining area. Yeah, I dug out this area because there was one YouTuber that I watched and they made like an epic mining area and it started off with like a massive area dug out of here and he made it into his basement, which I thought was really cool and I kind of want to recreate that. His name was Ozcrafted Sim. It's actually pretty cool. And he made like a massive mine tunnel. I just thought it was really, really awesome. And also, I've just been doing a ton of mining and actually at the very, very end of this tunnel, there's diamonds. So let's go. Let's actually get them. Okay, here we go. We've got the diamonds here. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll probably mine them when we get fortune because then, you know, that's just better because we can get fortune and we get more of them. <laughs> but for now though, I think it would actually look kind of cool to go and just put diamonds in the walls. I was going to put them there, but I think it would look a little bit weird since they're deep slate ones. Let's go. Let's put them there. Okay, I think that looks cool. And then we can go and replace that with some deep slate. Okay, so for this farm, just just to be safe, just have a lot. And I mean like a lot of cobblestone. Just to be safe, have at least that much. I know it seems like a crazy amount, but have at least that much in your inventory because you never know how much you're actually gonna need. Maybe, maybe a little bit less. Maybe that's a little bit overkill, but you will need quite a lot. I think nine stacks is a decent amount. I don't know, I, yeah, I definitely went overkill. Just have at least nine, if not 10 stacks. You also want to have a stone cutter while you're up there. You don't need this in the build, don't worry. But it's good to have a stone cutter, a grindstone, and at minimum, a stack of planks. That's just while you're building. It's always good to have that sort of stuff, but you will keep the grindstone and also a crafting table and a chest up there. It's always better. Next, you want to go find a place. Maybe, oh no, 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 thank you. I do not want to get killed. Ignore the chat. Ignore the chat. I didn't try and, oh no, there's a creeper there. I did not manually try and get a ton of XP from grinding mobs manually. Pfft. No, 
so I didn't try that and then realised how hopeless I was and then decided to go and make a video on me making a farm and pretend that it's a tutorial for you guys when really I'm just so hopeless and getting experience manually. Okay, but now what you want to do is you want to go up, and I know it's going to sound crazy, you want to go up 128 blocks. Two stacks up into the air. Okay, so we're 140 blocks into the air. I'm a little bit over that because there are some like crazy terrain generation around and also there's mountains over there. But um, can we talk about how I'm literally floating in midair? And if I was to take my finger off the shift key right now, I would plummet to my death. <laughs> okay, but now what we want to do is you want to make a little bit of a platform. Now what you want to do is do one block up in a little formation like this. Have a 4x4 four four there and just make that. Next, you want to mine out these two blocks and then put down your stone cutter somewhere. You can put it down anywhere, it really doesn't matter. And you want to go and make slabs. This is the part where you want to go and start just making some slabs. And um, then you want to put two slabs there, two slabs there, and then put two slabs on top of this. And then later on, you're also going to want to go and grab some hoppers, but we'll cover that later. Right now, I'm just going to show you how to build it. And then later on, I'll talk about collection systems and stuff. Next, you want to go up 21 blocks. So in all, you want to go up 23, but you also want to count these two. So there we go. That's now 23 blocks high. And then you want to do that to all the other parts as well. Okay, so now that we've got a 23 high block little thing, if we drop down here, we will almost die. Guys, 23 blocks is the absolute maximum any Minecraft player can drop. But mobs can actually drop 23.5. Next, what you want to do is go out eight on each side. So just like this. And then you want to put a block in each corner and then go up one and then out. Then you have a little area like this. And then once you've got an area like this, you want to put two blocks on the end and then just to test it, put a water bucket there and it should flow all the way to the very edge. Now you want to do the same thing to each side. You want to do eight out, one up, and then a barrier around it. And then what you want to do is head back down, grab another water source, or you can bring two buckets up. And you want to make a four by four water source like that. And you want to go and put water at the end of every single one of these areas. And once you've got water flowing into the middle of every single one, you just want to kill those two water parts there and then go and mine all of these blocks. So now you should have a water stream where everything leads into the very middle and into this plummeting hole of doom. <laughs> Next, what you want to do is you actually want to grab your blocks and it will take one stack to fill in every one of these sides. What you want to do is you want to fill in all of this. And what's really good about being up here is you can like scope out your surroundings and see what's happening like around. I really want to find a village, so I'm going to I'm going to take the lag, put it up to 48 chunks and see how far we can get. See if we can just find even just one village, please. I just really want a village so that we can get villages and an iron farm going probably hopefully next episode whoa is that like a massive ravine whoa i can see that like curve around that looks sick what there's like a massive crater in the middle of that whoa that's lit i don't know what that sort of generation is but that's cool as well and this what on earth? This seat is weird. But let's go. Next up, what you want to do, you want to make some walls two blocks up like this. Just like this one, except all the way round. Now, once you've got walls all the way round, you want to go and build two blocks up on each side like that. And it will be removed later, but it's just useful for now. But only in the middle. You just want to do that in the middle of every single line. And then this is where your slabs come in. So if you haven't got five stacks of slabs, head back down and get five stacks of slabs. You will need them. I know it sounds like a lot, but you're definitely going to need all five stacks. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, so once you've got all those slabs, what you want to do is place them all around the edges here. And now we're making the roof to a um, mob spawner. And pretty much, let me just explain mobs to you. So mobs can spawn in a light level, and I'm pretty sure it's a light level of under seven. There's gonna be a little correction if I'm wrong. I think that I'm right. But if the lighting level is below seven, that's when mobs can spawn. Hence why mobs usually spawn at night, because there is very, very little light coming from the sky. 
and light levels will be under seven. So using this little farm here, what's gonna happen is once we put the roof on, it's going to have a light level of zero and mobs are going to start flooding in. And then mobs will start walking out of here. They'll just start walking out, you know, they'll walk along and then they'll drop into a little area like this into the water and they'll get pushed all the way down and they'll stop here. They'll just sit there for a little bit and they'll be like, D -d 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 I'm so happy, I'm healthy, you know, because mobs can actually like just sit there. They just sit here and try to go against the current. They just sit on this one block until another mob comes along and replaces them and pushes them out of the way. But then what will happen is they'll drop down and they'll be almost dead. All it will take is just one more hit and then boom, they will be dead. And that's where you come in. You're gonna sit at the very, very bottom and every 20 minutes you're gonna come back from AFKing and you are just going to slice them. You're just gonna slice the little mobs. And then they'll die, you get the XP and if you put hoppers underneath, you'll get the drops as well but hoppers is only if you do want the drops if you don't want the drops it doesn't really matter but now what we're doing is we're going and putting slabs make sure that they are slabs around this to make it a roof and make sure that you do have a slab here but make sure that it's the bottom slab the bottom slab of a block that way mobs can't spawn on top and it won't ruin your spawn rate so you just want to go and just pretty much do this and fill in the whole roof here we go one Two, boom. So now we have a fully operational mob farm. It's all in full use. Now all we need to do is just head back down to the bottom. Let's go. Okay, we're gonna have to fall all the way down to the bottom. It takes a little while, but then guys, we have a fully working mob farm. Now what you want to do is you want to go and grab some hoppers. And we're making the collection system. So, oh no, oh no, this is not gonna work. That was close, okay. Wait, look, oh my gosh, I turned hitboxes on and there are so many mobs just roaming around. Oh no, oh no, we're gonna die. I already know we're gonna die. Is that a spider jockey? It's a spider jockey! <laughs> okay, let's go. Down here. Okay, so I've got the whole hopper system planned out in our inventory. So let's go, let's actually make as many hoppers as we can. I think 10 is the right amount, hopefully. It should be, because then we've got all of those and then we've got four there, perfect. There's a creeper, there is a creeper, there is a creeper. It just decided not to kill us though. Ooh, that was scary. And we're gonna turn into this soon, I promise. But for now, we're gonna use ladders to get up. And I know that's probably gonna trigger some people because ladders are super slow and it's gonna annoy me as well, but it's just what we've gotta do. But let's go, let's put ladders all the way out the side. Okay, but let's go, let's make a collection system. And this, I already know, is gonna be a little bit annoying. I say a little bit like it's actually gonna be a little bit annoying. It's a lot a bit annoying. It's gonna be one of the most annoying things of today. Okay, so we are underneath the mob farm that is currently working and it is very dangerous to be here right now. So, let's just get this over and done with really, really quick. So we're gonna put some hoppers there leading into a future chest that will go right there. And here is that chest. And then we're gonna put a chest there and then pretty much just do this over and over again until we run out of chests or run out of hoppers. Okay, so here is our storage system. It's very not, it's not that good but still it is a storage system and it will get us through it will get us through but let's go let's put some ladders here so that we can get all the way back up to the top and now guys this farm should be fully efficient all we need to do is just that so guys thank you so much for watching this video i'm gonna go afk here and hopefully by next episode we can have a ton of epic levels so guys if you like these sorts of videos make sure to leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one have the best day ever peace